Ooh. I reckon... I'm not sure it's ready yet. Wagwan Massive, loads more unboxings. Uh, they've been stacking up because I've been away for a week uh, celebrating family and some time off work. Uh, he says, although I'm in the process of editing some stuff right now, as you can see in the background. How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm well, thank you. You can see my hair is growing back. You can get the roots underneath. I quite like the style. Uh, I conditioned it this morning, but I haven't combed it. And twice looking a bit strange and moving in different directions. I've got quite a few records to unbox. This one, and I've got this one. As some of you may know, it's just been my birthday. So I've got a couple records as gifts as well as some that I bought back in April. And I did that inevitable thing of waiting till they're all in stock so I could save money on postage, which is what this is a result of. Um, and so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Easy opening, no shank required. Ah, it's Boomcat, shout out Boomcat every time. They do the mad, very, specific way of packaging loads of cardboard. Oh, what's this? Ah, you know what? I think I've got, I'm gonna start off with not a record, I'm assuming this is. Man got a tape cassette. Not sure if you can see that because the light is pretty bright today. Appeared on my radio show last year, I think. 1020 radio show. Um, an artist that I've just been a huge fan of. He samples an amazing instrument, which I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. I'm so sorry, but it's a Lebanese traditional instrument. I'm talking about DJ Plead. I actually bumped into him, met him, actually met him in person for the first time at Fabric last Friday at the uh, Liberty Sound 10 year party at Fabric. Shout out everyone who's DJ down there. It was a good night, um, particularly Emma and Al Wooten. I really enjoyed their set. But yeah, DJ Plead, this was just a really cool tape came out in spring 2020, which as you can imagine was probably the sort of peak of the pandemic. There's the man himself. I'm not sure if you can see that, but one for a little tape cassette I've got just here. I'm looking forward to playing that and hearing that organic tape hiss. Thank you, man like plead. So you may have noticed there, uh, I've changed the settings ever so slightly. We're down to 100 ISO. Um, which should be a bit more clear and should have less sort of glare from the light outside. It's quite a lovely day. Uh, we've done the tape cassette. Let's have a look at some of these records. Oh, I have bought a couple of records. Let me put that in the sleeve and then show it to you. Ghost phone. Some wicked sort of like jungly uh, drum and bassy edits. I can't even remember which edition this is. Ghost phone six. Distributed by Honest John. Shout out, I think the Kelly Twins are behind this. I'm not entirely sure. This is one of them where, you know, you listen to it and you just think that's sick, I'm buying it. Don't even read the um, the little the little copy in the description. You just get the record. I'm gonna play that one today because I'm gonna have a little mix with some sort of jungly stuff. Yeah, if you get the chance, go on to Ghost Friends Bandcamp and have a listen to their um, mad edits with some like familiar sort of R&B type samples in there. Really, really cool. Bro, I genuinely, don't know what this ting is. Ah, oh, okay, I turned it around, I know exactly what it is. Shout out uh, Gav and Jord. I believe the guys behind um, Equinox. I first was put onto Equinox after they uh, produced Step Out. Step Out, Tinami, Black, Hop, Bug, Hana, Bud, Spark, Bud, Man, Natek, Bud, Jack, Front, you know that busy signal song. Um, Gav's Morgan, Time Cow, Mal Records. 2022, yeah, just wicked little in, interesting sounding music. Um, quite a challenge to mix if you're a DJ and you wanna, you're up for the challenge of mixing some sort of off key, uh, not off key, it's in key, but it's just like sort of off kilter. It's hard to find the, uh, the rhythm and stuff, but yeah, wicked little sort of alternative dance all there. Uzik on uh, Planet Moo Records. I actually thought this was UIQ, but uh, shout out Marianne Hobbs. Um, I was in the studio over and she played the Jungle Techno remix of Rave Whistle by Uzik. I think I'm saying Uzik. I don't know, it's like a sort of that, that German U. I can't remember how to say it. Uh, that's just a really wicked record. I can't wait to just mix this um, super, yeah, wicked, aggressive, sort of jungly, uh, techno y kind of stuff on Planet Moo. Uh, yeah, I've been just getting some really cool techno of recent. I can't wait to just 
mix and blend. That's the first lot. I've got a whole other box here. This is going to be a, a, a big piece of video. I hope you're enjoying so far. More unboxing. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I ordered this ages ago. Funny story. So last night, uh, as I was going to bed, I listened to this album. You know, I do that album first, if I can pick it out. Yeah, I bought this ages ago, but it was one of them where I was waiting till it was all in stock to get it. Shout out Boomcat again. Boomcat, uh, Boomcat should really sponsor me, but they don't. I actually pay for this. Uh, Boomcat, I've given you a lot of money in the past year. Let's start off with the sealed wrapped record. I've got two sealed here. This one, um, the story behind this, Hannah Peel and Paro Orchestra, on one of the shows I produce at BBC Radio 6 Music, the new album Fix, uh, we featured this album on the show and uh, Matt Everett, who presents the show, did an interview with Hannah Peel that was just absolutely wonderful and really gave context to the album, which I instantly fell in love with. I already liked it for musical purposes and for sort of sonic purposes, but also the sort of concept behind it, I just really resonated with. So it's just a beautiful album to listen to start to finish. Like I said, I listened to it last night as I was falling asleep because it's quite meditative and uh, tranquil like that. I keep doing this, I keep forgetting I'm get, I get the special edition. Look at the colour of that. That is a very high-vis orange. Oh, look at the art. Look at the absolute wonderful art. Pictures of the Para Orchestra recording. That is lovely. Hannah Peel and Para Orchestra, I recommend for the ambient listening fan. Sort of goes without saying, do quite enjoy the Fabric live compilations and uh, if you listen to my radio show at the start of the year on Tentative Radio, I did a sort of virtual award show and the award for best live act I gave to Leon Vinehall. Um, became more and more of a fan of Leon Vinehall. Shout out Sam Walker each and every time as well, who I also know as a fan and has sort of inspired me to become more of a fan of Leon Vinehall. This is his Fabric Presents mix. Um, it's not entirely the mix, it's some like of the exclusive tracks that were featured in the mix, not in the mix. Particularly the Ski Mask one, I'm a really big fan of and I wanted it on record so I could, I could, I could mix it, yeah. Leon Vinyl, Sugar Slip is on there as well, uh, which is a kind of a nice garagey. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram then you might have seen me rapping along to it in the shower not so long ago. Right, like I said, I'm running out of time with my SD card so I've got to get this one in quick. Um, this one I got literally because one of the singles on it is just sick. Aquarian, um, Death Taxes and Hanger. That single in particular is just such an amazing sort of jungle journey. Um, it really builds into some absolute madness. I've been quite enjoying Aquarian. Um, has been doing a lot of this mad jungle madness uh, of recent, even under the alias AXDM, which I don't think is an alias. I think it's Aquarian alongside someone else. Um, but yeah, this single is probably, the single in itself is probably single, one of my singles of the year. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this on deck. Um, and that's my time. Thank you for watching. I still have more records to unbox, which I'll do on another day. But yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, give it a like, give it a share, and uh, give me a message, slide in my DMs, uh, respect.